Hey, hey, boys and girls. Welcome to episode number four of Draku Plays. All the mods to the Minecraft 1.11.2. Well, let's get started. Today's episode is going to have a lot of crafting, and it's going to be a twist from what I told you would be in the last episode. That tends to happen a lot with me, doesn't it? Well, get over it, because that's just the way this works. So, whoop, screenshots. No, that's the button I'm looking for. So here's what we're doing. Now, here's the storage shed I told you I was going to build. This is going to be the dump chest. We're going to have processed metals like iron and gold going in here. These are the ores that still have to be processed. Saplings and seeds go here. Foods and items from mystical agriculture, then tools, weapons, wooden items, miscellaneous stuff, Batania items, and actual additions items. So you notice there's no lasers on top. Well, I built the lasers. They are right here, and then found out in order to make the advanced energy laser relay, which is what I need in order to, yeah, in order to put filters in it, I have to have the advanced energy laser relays. I need empowered and ori crystals. No, well, it's not such a tough thing. I just need gray dye, snowballs, buttons, cobble, and a nori, and an empowerer. Yeah, an empowerer. An empowerer means we needed these things right here, which is a block of quartz. These things are chiseled quartz. So you know what you have to do to get quartz? That's right, you have to go to the nether. So if you look over there, you can see another portal that I put in. And there's a pigman, a little baby pigman wandering around down there somewhere too. It's because I went and got a whole bunch of quartz. There we go. Stack and a half of it. So let's take a look at this again. The empower we need. Don't need it in there. Okay. So we're going to have to have five of these stands. Which means that's six. I don't honestly know if I've got enough quartz yet. I may have to go back in the nether again. Let's see. To make this, means I need this, means I need this. Which comes out of more quartz. Oh, lovely. Okay, every one of those is four. Six times four is 24. 24 times five is 120. Yeah, we don't have enough. We need just a few more. So let's go and make a new pick while we're at it. Because the goal, actually, we'll just take one of these picks with us. What I actually want to work my way up to is getting one of those drills from Actual Editions. I want one of these. Drill. Diamantine drill core. You know what? We could make that drill now. Because those are just empowered diamonds. Hmm. Let's go in and get some. I'll let you take a quick peek in the nether because the nether is a little bit different here. There's a lot of quicksand down there. And I don't know if that's from Bombs of Plenty or not. But there's also been like three or four giant gas around whenever I come down here. Of course, we're not hanging around. The pigmen are docile, so it's not like it was an infinity expert when the pigmen came after you. Iron ore. Yeah, and they're cyclic in here as well. There's also another fortress there, and you see how it says tunnel that away. I just started digging through because I got tired of trying to battle the ghast and missing, and them not missing me. So there is another quartz. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. What hit me? Well, that was kind of random. Yeah, they also have dense nether quartz, too. 49, just say 50. It's 114. Still not quite enough. And the soul stone stuff is everywhere. So apparently, Mystical Agriculture got a big update. Hmm. 
There's these crystal things hanging around. Watch out for this. This is called burnium from Taraquius. And it's actually useful. I looked it up. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, I want to get a bunch of this stuff, though, in case I need extras. Almost done with my first diamond pick. Cannot believe I've used that much of one. What the heck keeps hitting me? Nothing in my inventory. I don't have a clue what that is. Oh, the netherrack just randomly catches on fire here. Well, that's interesting. I have found one nether fortress already. It wasn't much one. It was an underground nether fortress. I hadn't seen that before. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Get some more diamonds while we're down here because those will come in handy. And in the test of that fortress, I found an extra heart from Cyclic. So that's why I've got 11 hearts down instead of 10. What is that? Base off from Quark. That's okay. What is that? Coal. Um, and also, you see that charm? Here's what that charm does. Watch this. As long as I'm sneaking, I can go on air. Oh, there's one. Oh, I'm off a little bit. Missed again. And again. I'm not as good at this as I used to be. So I'll get over here to it. They still don't pathfind to you, which is okay with me. Alright, dude, come on, hit me. No, you need to eat. You need to come back down here. Looks like he can get to you in the air like that. Come on. Got him. You drop any tears I can get, or do they fall in the lava? Perfect, they fell in the lava. Okay, that's alright though. That was fun and kind of exciting. We still got one. Let's get off of this. Alright, so how much nether quartz do I have? I have enough to make that stuff now, so I'm gonna pause this so I can get back above ground because it's way over there. At this. I keep thinking I'm finding the stuff to make that purple mineral and tinkers, and then I remember there's no tinkers. Okay, let me pause this, get back above ground, then we're going to make that empowering thing. And I'll show you how that works. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I got back in those nights, so I had to sleep a little bit. I went ahead and turned the uh, nether quartz into... Interesting. Those don't stack. Interesting. So I turned a bunch of it into blocks and other quartz and then chisel quartz. So now we just empower them. There's some. There's these. Poof. All right. Now we got that. And that's enough for five apiece. Those go something like that. Okay, then to make the stands, we need these guys, which means we need five of these, which is 20 Restonas, and yeah. Let's just grab some of these. I'm not doing very much in the way of counting. I'm a little bit tired tonight. Oh, perfect. Look at that. There we go. Let's do this. There's a better way to do this. I just haven't set it up yet. 
I'll be doing that a little bit later. Five of those. Now it's more gold. Let's do this. Five of those. Can I make this? Yes. Five of those stands. Okay. Now we need to make one of these. And the way this works, if you want to see it in the book, you've got to make an infusion altar and display stands. And you lay it out like this. If it's in the book, you can read the book. I'm not going to go through the book with you because you can read it yourself. The iron casings, let me see if I had any of those left over from last time. I do not see them in there. There's one. Good. More sticks. More iron blocks. There it goes. Two of those. And need a double battery. Oh wow. The double battery is a battery, so we need two more of these guys. Which is what? Four of those are on one of those. Okay. One of those. Which is one of those. Okay. Three, three. Let's just do like ten of these. Let's see how this comes out. There we go. up all my little ingot guys I'm starting to click starting to click these things we're gonna get into deep resonance later some of that there's some of you down there could have sworn oh well there we go up like that Some of you left over because I made a bunch of those between episodes. That's when I discovered I had to actually have the, you know, empowering station to make what I wanted. Okay, now we're going to make the double battery, which is five more of those. What am I missing? Only missing one of those. Perfect. Two, three, four. Got that. Got that. Now we got the double battery. Now we should be able to make this. Poof, check that out. Achievement get infusion altar. Oop. Uh, I think I wanted this. Just got a bobble up in there. Okay, now comes the hard part is you gotta get power to this. This one take power from down here. Keep it on this axis. Be there. That's just a display stand, so I'll go one, two in, one, two out. One, 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 two. And one, two out. And this goes right there. Alright, now we get that set up. If I'm not mistaken, all those need their own lasers. This does get a little bit complicated in case you didn't notice. More of that stuff. So I might have to make some more lasers before this is all said and done. You know what else we're going to need? We're going to need my wrench back. So here's how we do this. Now, I've only done this using Ender I.O. before. I've never done this with strictly actual additions the way it was intended to be done. So we're just going to try this and see. I 
I'll end up putting all these back in a minute. Okay, put one of these there. One of these there. One of those there. Can I reach it from over here? Okay. And one of these here. Connect that one to that one. 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 And that one to that one. Hey, hey. All right, this could take a minute because I was trying to fill them all up at once. So let's drop our sand back in because we don't actually need the sand to be moved away. The lasers work whether you can see them or not. In fact, for 111, there's even a thing you can make. I think I showed it to y'all before. See, this will still work anyway. Okay, I need mountains now. Let's look at the map. I'm going to need some snow. Ooh. All right, I'm going to have to pause the recording again and just go exploring to find some snow. I don't remember seeing any. So I'll tell you what, guys, this is a good time to take a break. I'm going to hit that pause button, give this stuff time to fill up with energy. Because it is totally empty. Okay, good. We've got a backlog on canola's going on. Those are going to need to be full to make all the stuff we want to make. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go take a nap because it's approaching nighttime. Uh, fill up my coconut juice. And then I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we're going to come back here for just a second because I've got about halfway on the island. And here's the second village, so I'll show you this one since I did the first one off camera. Just want to see if there's anything different up in here. Okay, this is the actual addition's house. So if you don't want any spoilers, I cut away here. Let's see what's all in here, though. It's got these different kind of lights in it. There's a coffee machine. Oh, a little coffee in it. And power. Let's see if we can make anything. There's some canolas. Ooh, Aaron's making some crush to this. So let's take that with us. Can't take the machine, remember, because the machines break if you try and pick them up. Block of coal. Let's go and use that. Oh, crud, I can't even get to it. There we go. Oh, storage crate. There we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. More of that stuff. Uh, storage crates, if I'm not mistaken, will pick up. Let's see. Yeah, those do pick up. So do these. So we'll take these with us. Let's see if I try and pick up that laser. So you get that message and it breaks. So that's no good, unfortunately. Okay, what else is up in here while we're here? Ooh. Ooh, 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 the little blacksmith's hut. Now, this is my favorite thing in 1710. There's always cool toys. Let's see what we have this time. Ooh, that'll be good. Dynamite. It's dynamite six. Garden scythe and iridium. I don't care about either one of those, to be honest with you. Uh, this is the jam house. Any jams? Wow, lots of jams. Okay, so we'll just keep that in mind because I'm already getting full of stuff. That's a forestry house. There's probably going to be some beekeeping stuff in here. Yeah. Nothing that I really care about right now. We might do forestry later, but we may not. I haven't decided yet. I know that the next mod we play with once we finish the actual editions is going to be Astral Sorcery. 
Let's activate this. That way our boat goes faster. And do I have another bobble slot for it? Yes, I do. Sweet. There's another roguelike dungeon. Let's put a marker here. Village number two. All right, so now I've got our villages. The boat should be right over here. I'm not going to go in those roguelike dungeons yet because I want some kind of projectile weapon first. All right, so back on pause. I'll be back in just a second. All right, this boat trip's being pretty productive. Look at this. There's another one of the sandstone temples and a mesa, and we're not that far away. Let's see. We're on the island. I mean, look, it's right. that's where we are right now. That was the village we just stopped at, and there's home right there. I mean, it's like there's a little bit of everything here. Okay, let me go run around some more, and I'll be back in another second. Finally. Finally. We are finding snow. Do you see this? Look over on the right side of the mini-map at the Y level. We're at Y150. And I'm just now getting the snow. I mean, I've climbed all the way up. I found a whole bunch of stuff, too. And I died. Notice my 30 plus levels of XP. Gone. Kind of sad about that. I decided I'd fight some spiders and that didn't go very well. But there's a really bright temple up here and we're going to see what this is all about. Might as well get some exploration in this episode before we head back and actually make the stuff I want to make. So I really want to know what this is. I think Mr. Normal 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 Wellington would I think however you say your name, dude. We're in the same curse group you'll have to tell me. Oh wow, look at that. What is that all about? Can I whack it? Uh, I don't have much left on this, but let's see if I can whack this thing. Okay, it says it needs a pick, diamond pickaxe. I'm holding a diamond pickaxe. Is it just stone? Okay. By the way, that's still pretty nifty. Hmm. Oh, crud. Ooh, there's a chest. Constellation paper. I don't know what that does, but let's keep it anyway. Maybe there's more chest around here, or just that one. Oop, no, there's another. Maybe you, and nothing there. What do you use that for? Discidia Avatos. Don't know what that means. So I'm going to throw all this up into here. Because, you know, why not? And I'm going to pause again, wait till it's daytime, then head back to our lair. Astral Sorcery. It says Pickaxe Diamond, and I'm holding a diamond pickaxe. I just want to set one of those. Astral Temple with Crystal. All right, so now we know how to get back to here. I'm just going to figure out how did I get in here in the first place. I'll be through here, right? All right, I'll be back when I get back to the to my homestead. All right, time to finish this episode. I've died, I think, three times maybe. Uh, one, two, two times. Trudged over ten kilometers across the center of this place. I did find out. There's a gigantic snow-capped mountain right there. If I would have just stopped right there and gone straight inland, I'd have found it. I came all the way through here. Ended up dying right here next to the village. Found another village over here. And then made my way back home. And then, I did grab some more of these small storage crates. I dumped up a bunch of stuff in here. There's three more of these, a bunch more of these. Just bunches and bunches of stuff that I found. All under the greatness of being stupid. 
Yes, boys and girls, episode four, and I've already made a major episode long, episode long, stupidity move. Here's what I did. The whole entire time I've been thinking this is what I needed, advanced energy relay, advanced energy laser relay. See these empowered in Ori's? Yeah, guess what? The green ones are the ones I wanted. This is all it takes to make the green ones. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, leave it in the comments how stupid I am. I've literally spent an hour and a half on this one episode trying to get snowballs so I can make something that doesn't need snowballs. <laughs> yeah. So let's make a couple more of these. There's this. Got those. Let's just pull down all this. Okay, you go here, you go here, here, here. You go here, you go here, you go here. You go here, okay. Let's turn these into green ones. Poof. Oh Lord, I felt so stupid. I don't know if I've truly had another episode where I did things so backwards that it hurt. I really, really don't. I did notice one thing, though. When these lasers move stuff, I don't remember this in 110, but when they move stuff, you'll actually see it coming out of one laser and into another laser. Like, let's see. Watch this. See what I mean here? Watch the top of the lasers. See them going in like that? That's pretty cool. Let me go down here, and they get turned into these guys. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. I want to make one, two, three, four. I want to make 12 of those. Perfect. So I need. Let's try with this. Almost. I need one, two more. Spin you right around. Okay, so there's that. Nine of the advanced ones. What am I missing? Void crystals. I'm pretty sure I got more of these somewhere. One, two, three. Good enough. Whoa. There we go. All right, this one actually didn't need to be an advanced one, but that's okay. So what we want to do is go actually interface. I think I need one of these. Let's make one of these really quick. Let's make four of those things. Chest. We're going to empty chest in here. That's all I need for that, but it's nighttime. Let's go to sleep before creepers come out. Because there's a mod in this pack that makes enemies really, really bad. I mean, really, really bad. Okay, you know what? We're going to figure this out really quick. I'm going to set up this inventory sorter. I'll be back in just a second. 
All right, guys. I think we got it going on. Made the advanced item laser relay. Put them all over the place. Got a couple of them set. Let's watch this. Let's throw the metals in here. They drop down, and you see the gold poofing over there. Now watch this. We'll throw the stuff from actually additions in here. Let's throw some random stuff in there. You see those poofing over there now, right? How nifty coolified is that? Now this is our dump crate. Let's want to throw a piece of dirt back down there so they'll grow up again. That drops down into a hopper. The hopper drops down into this item interface with the laser relay on top of it. What happens is I'm slowly setting up the filters on each one of these, like this one now is set up to be this. I haven't set all these yet. I set this one. These two are set to be mod mode on and checking for Batania. So I've got the whitelist set for Batania. This one's set for actual additions. If anything tagged with actual additions will drop into here. Nifty, huh? Things made out of wood are going to go into here. So do I have anything made out of wood right now? No. The tools can go in here. So I don't care about meta, metadata. We can put an axe in here if we want to. Put a laser wrench in here. Just going to throw some stuff in here. So we can throw all that in there. Now if I go throw these in here. If I did that correctly, see that's how you know you did it wrong. So we come back up here and look and see what did I do wrong with this. Whitelist, ignore all this. Don't care what mod it came from. That blocks them. That lets them go through. There they go. Apparently you just have to hit the mod list on off switch. So we'll take those back because I wouldn't mind keeping those on me for now. Okay, but you get the idea. So now what I can do is I can go through. I can set the lasers, lasers up for the crates like those. Move those into here. Not the crates, but the actual, what do you call them, drawers. So I can move those in here. I can get some really cool stuff going. And then I just drop everything into here. Once I get all the filter set. So that's going to take a little while to do. So I'll do that between episodes. But for now, you've seen how it works. We'll come back and do empowering later since I really didn't mean that this episode just totally screwed that up. But I appreciate y'all coming out to watch, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.